why am I red here and why am I, why are my eyes watery? Oh man, I uh, I uh, I remembered. 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 I fully remembered. I fully remembered. On this special evening. It's special for so many reasons. First of all, it's 11-11. But you will probably get this video like... You know, I may, I may upload it and just play around and delay the other videos. We'll see if I have time tonight. Otherwise, you'll get it like a week from now or something. Not even more. Uh, it's 11-11. It's a full moon. See that? It's a full moon. I am on uh, top of a mountain. Uh, all alone. And all one, I should say. It's Lantern Festival here in Northern Thailand. So there's fireworks all over. Uh, it's a Buddhist uh, festival. Uh, very, very special evening, very special day, the whole day. And I remember it. I remember it. And I couldn't stop crying. Been crying and crying. I remembered. What did I remember? What do I keep saying I remember? Like I'm a... I'm a broken record or something. <laughs> I remembered. I remembered the mission. I remembered why I came here. I, I, I remember. I remember. I remembered. I remembered the whole thing. I remembered. Oops. Let's put that back in. I remembered. It's probably going to fall off a few more times. I remembered. The contract, I remembered uh, not just agreeing, but volunteering to come here to this grim place. I remember, I remember it, and I couldn't stop crying. I couldn't stop crying because I'm happy, because I'm happy that I remembered, and I'm happy that I'm in perfect alignment with my mission. This is my sixth video today, maybe seventh, I think sixth. It's my sixth video, yeah. First one in the evening, I made the other five during the day. And I can't stop now. I can't stop, it's this is, I'm in perfect alignment. I remembered why I came here. I remembered exactly why I chose this. And it all makes perfect sense the way my life unfolded from A till now. Because we're not at Z yet. Far from Z. We're probably at maybe C or D. There's much, much more to go. But it all makes sense. It all makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense why I had always been an outcast. And, and I've always just naturally strayed away from society. I mean, you don't come to a place like this and call that your evening hangout. I mean, that's my basically, you know, my evening hangout. I hang out here until I'm basically like about to pass out. And I just go pass out in, the, in where I live. Um, but I always felt alienated. I always alienated myself on purpose. I always alienated myself. I always, when I saw the crowd doing something, I'd go the complete other way. Because I, uh, I'm here on a mission. I'm here on an assignment. And I came here fully knowing that that's going to be the nature of the mission, the nature of the assignment, is that I'm going to have to spend a great deal of time all one, alone. 
Because I'll tell you something, in a, in a healthy society, I wouldn't be alone here. There would be so many other people coming here in this gym, by the way, which is accessible. This is, I'm in the Pi Canyon. It's accessible to anyone can come here right now. Except for that'll never happen. That'll never happen. Okay? Which is cool for me because I want to be alone. Um, but I'll tell you, in a fully healthy functional society, a place like this would be even more crowded in the evening than during the day. I mean, it's a gem. I mean, I'm overlooking mountains. Full moon. You can see some stars there. Not a lot because of the moon. I saw some fireworks earlier on. I mean, this is magical. It's absolutely magical. A beautiful place to connect. I mean, I just uh, came here and uh, I just sat here and I looked at the moon and I did a little dancing and then played some music and I just lost my shit. Like, I just was crying. It was like a just a, whoa, a remembrance of, of why I'm here, of what's happening here, why I'm here, why did my mission, the nature of my mission. Why it all makes sense now that I always alienated myself from the crowd. Always, 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 always. It was, I was doing it because I wanted to, <laughs> you know, forget, forget. I, I always did it because I wanted to, because it just never made sense to me what the crowd does in any situation, in any moment. And I thrive most when I'm alone, all one. When I am in solitude, when I am in places like this, just hanging out, just hanging out, digging deep, getting some insights from the ET soul fam. <sighs> and getting some insights from the moon and from the stars and from the mountains and the beautiful trees here and the elements and the nature spirits which are all around me. Um, re receiving these downloads here is much, much uh, easier. Comes naturally. Add a little bit of music and you're good. You're, you're there. And yeah, the tears were tears of happiness mostly because I feel like I'm in perfect alignment. And I clearly can't stop making videos and I... I just won't because the more I'm in touch with this mission, the less I even have to meditate because it turns out actually like I'm much more fueled, like my primary fuel at the moment and probably for the rest of my existence in this uh, vehicle, in this uh, incarnation is like my mission, serving, just uh, the service to God, an instrument to, to God. And that, is, like I'm finding that just a, such a powerful fuel and the more I'm in touch with that, the more I'm aligned with that, the less I have to meditate, the less I have to eat, the less I, you know what I mean? It's just because I'm so in touch with it. Um, and now more and more I, I get in touch with it and it all makes sense. And more and more I contact uh, the higher wisdom. I contact, uh, you know, the, the star fam, if you will. <laughs> uh, yeah, look at that. They're laughing. They're they're hilarious. The star fam are hilarious. They always uh, take things uh, with a sense of humor. And um, the more I contact the other side, the more I pierce through the veil, the more I remember, or uh, as the member berries from South Park would say, member, I member. The more I member, the more I am powered by energy, by God, by whatever, I don't know what the energy is, the energy of love, the energy of service, the energy of compassion. Uh, that's karma yoga for you. And I think I'm like sort of almost now fully immersed in that path. It seems to be my path. It seems to be my path. It seems to me that all the meditations that I've been doing lately, that, you know, the path of jnana meditation, you know, that it just continues to reveal to me uh, that actually, you know, like my main path here, my main thing here is karma yoga. It's the yoga of service. Um, just desireless action. Just doing things because, uh, you know, because you uh, you just do it. Like I just make these videos because I make them. I, uh, I serve through these videos because that's just what a Saeed does, right? That's just what I do. That's what I'm here to do. In fact, you know, I, I can't not do this. You know, if I, <laughs> it's like... 
it would go against every part of me that basically like signed up for this, right? You know, they call these soul contracts or something. Hmm. So, so this is fantastic. You know, I urge you guys to uh, get in touch also with uh, and, and really, really make it make it your your bread and butter. You know, make it make it make it your thing to find like to say you know what. Yeah, I I you know I used to listen to a lot of motivational speakers back in the day. And um, one of them, I think Les Brown, he says something along the lines of, uh, you know, he's talking about people finding their passion or something. He's like, you got to find your passion as if your life depends on it. Now, passion is very much, you know, often related to service because if you're passionate about something, you deliberately picked uh, you deliberately picked that thing to be passionate over so that you could begin to serve people uh, somewhere, somehow, re somewhat related to that thing. And it really, uh, you know, finding the mission, really you want to make, make it as if your life depends on it. Because it does. I think that's what Les Brown says. He's like, because it does, because it does. Because it does, of course, it does. Your life depends on it, actually. You won't find fulfillment without uh, uh, without the mission, without working and and full time, full time, just full time. You work full time to alleviate suffering. You work full time uh, on the mission to bring heaven on earth. That's really uh, what I can't say. What we are here to do, because you know the. The wanderers, the the people who came to do that specifically, uh, are actually like one percent of the population of Earth. Uh, but then, of course, the El I think we we say we say we. When I say we, I'm not just talking about humans. I'm talking about Gaia herself, who actually made the call. Said I I uh, I send me as many light workers as you can, uh, because I'm going up. I'm ascending. I'm going to the next Saiyan level and so yeah it's good to say we i suppose we are creating heaven on earth that's all of us that's the et fam that's all the the confederation and all all the aliens and stuff like all of it you know the the, the guys the angels that's when so when i say we that's what i mean right um that's that's we basically and uh, you guys also that's we to create heaven on earth because earth has been suffering for so long and ugh, and it really it really yeah it really just here we go again it really like it really made me cry man just knowing that i'm on the path you know just knowing knowing you know i wake up now and it's like i i spring out of bed now because it's like all right you know there's work to be done because i'm not i'm not here for vacation you think I'd come here for vacation? You think you would come here for vacation? I'm here for work. Uh, I'm here for work. Uh, and, you know, that I'm here for work. I am most fulfilled when I am doing my job here. When I am fulfilling my role. When I am working on my assignment, which is basically full-time. You know, full-time. Full-time work. And the more I get into this work, the more I'm also thinking now, how can I carry this in the ground level? Because, you know, the videos, they're coming along, two videos a day. Uh, I'm fully immersed in the work. I'm always meditating on these things, reflecting, or maybe listening to like, I'm currently listening to the raw channel, the raw material, the law of one, the book, the law of one. So I'm fully in that sense, it's a full-time thing for me. But now I'm, I'm starting to think how to carry it in the ground level also. What I mean by the ground level? It means bringing us together. It means bringing us together a ground level. Here, you know, here. Like uh, physically, physical contact with, uh, with other people like you um, who are on the same vibe, sort of, who get what I'm saying. So that perhaps... Not that I have any complaints. So perhaps that instead of just one person, me 
hanging out here it could be me and four other people who are here perfectly digging the moon digging the star and it's you know it's um it's a beautiful sort of communal com communion i suppose right um so i'm working i'm working on that we'll see i i i obviously am formulating ideas and stuff and seeing how it's going to be carried out etc uh but uh, that's the mission for me so now it's like the demands from my higher self is like all right you know the videos are e easy for you now like you just do it because that's just like your second that's your literally your full-time thing now all right now what else can we do and there's a lot there's a lot we can do here there's a lot that can be done there's you know there's a lot that can be done more service can be done so but uh, you know that i have to really reflect on that and i have to just sort of wait for the guidance to uh the downloads and the guidance to uh move move ahead with you know anything uh, any future plans uh, and uh, i'll be here for a while so when i say i'll be here for a while i'm talking about this incarnation i'm gonna be here a while so there's really no rush for that at all uh, but nevertheless i'm I'm starting to get the the, the 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 vibe the feeling here uh yeah to uh you know bring people together to start to bring people in this community together uh, uh physically you know physically contact physical contact and physical presence um but you can't tell anybody about this spot okay if you if you ever come here and we we, we set it up you can't tell anybody okay that's you know the first rule about being at pie canyon in the evening is you do not talk about being at pie canyon in the evening okay you just don't talk about that so no breaking of that of that rule uh, otherwise, uh, I'm kind of pretty blissful here. All one, all alone. Uh, and yeah, it's a really beautiful evening. Beautiful evening and uh, beautiful tears, really. It's just a remembering. I remember. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Like, just a remembrance. It's perfect alignment. A feeling of perfect alignment with what I am here to do. So... Uh, yeah, I just uh, really this this is a reminder for you to really put this as a priority in your life uh, to align yourself with your mission. Okay, and special thanks to the Patreon and the people on PayPal. Uh, and obviously, the more supporters we have on Patreon, specifically Patreon, because it's sort of consistent income. You know, the more we could do uh, physical type work, right? The more we could bring people together, the more resources we have, right? Plain and simple. These would be resources for this channel. So the more resources we have, the more we could do. Otherwise, keep watching the videos. And they'll be they'll be coming, all right? They'll, they'll keep coming. There's no stopping them now. I'm just getting started. I'm just warming up. I get a big mission here, you know, like that's one of the downloads I got as I was sitting here and crying. I get a, I get a really big mission here. It's not not peanuts. It's not small. It's not just a minor thing. I get a big mission here. You know, I, I get an appetite for this kind of work. I guess I've been going around the cosmos doing this kind of stuff. And uh, from the looks of it, I'm actually not bad at it. So uh, it seems that, uh, you know. It seems that the workload is uh, is heightened. Okay, it seems that uh, my the guidance up there, my higher self, and all the the rest of them folks seem to think that I am capable of carrying a lot of work, and so you know, the, I feel it. There's a, I have a big workload in this field to do. Uh, so we're just getting started, and the more I get in touch with this, the more obviously there will be the more. Yeah, the more things can happen from my end to, you know, to the DAO. Because I'm just an instrument for the DAO, right? So, yeah, that's, that's about it. And uh, thank you, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.